Shalom, shalom, shalom. Before we even get started in this lesson, first and foremost, want to start by giving all praises and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah Bashem, Rukakadash. Secondly, want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone who rule well. And third, want to give salutation to all the occupants of the hopeful elect that push forth this word and this truth and righteousness and sincerity throughout the four corners. Shalom, shalom, shalom. My brother Haka of GMS South Carolina Midlands Branch. And, you know, um, this listen, this quick listen I'm about to do, this in transit listen that I'm about to do is, is coming off of, uh, you know what I'm saying, I was watching um, Elder Apostle Ricard, all right, the beloved Elder Apostle Ricard. I was watching um, his live, his live stream um, last night. Uh, and he went live off his, of course, you don't know um, Elder Apostle Ricard, uh, YouTube handle. Uh, his YouTube handle is GMS Keep pushing on, you know, and all those words could join together, all right, GMS, keep pushing on, for those that don't know, Elder Apostle Ricard YouTube handle, nevertheless, uh, I was watching Elder Apostle Ricard uh, live, and Elder Apostle Ricard, he went live with certain of the heads, with a couple of the heads, not all the heads of GMS Dallas uh, attended, you know, or was able to attend, uh, that live uh, sit down uh, last night, you know, of course, you know, our beloved Elder Yasha Wamba, he was there leading off, of course, and a couple of other head brothers of GMS Dallas. But nevertheless, um, you know, they was going into, you know, I'm saying the latest of IUIC, these clowns, these niggas, I think a nigga named ASAP or ASAP, whatever the fuck this stupid nigga name is. You know, once again, these dudes are bearing false witness against Grey Millstone, you know, what's new though? What's new? You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, that comes along with being a prophet of Yahweh by Shimmy Yahweh Shah, of course. Um, I don't watch a lot of these other issues, like, like ISUPK, IUIC, the Sakari, GOCC, a lot of those damn off-brand Israelite camps, man, off-brand. Um, and I say off-brand because these damn niggas, man, they don't be teaching on 100% truth at the end of the goddamn day, man. That's why I call them off-brand. But never, but never, but nevertheless, um, Sherlock, y'all, up here getting, getting this daggone AC adjusted in this vehicle. This, um, this is not a typical vehicle I usually drive. My car is going into the shop, so, you know, I'm in another vehicle today. A vehicle, like I say, I normally really don't be driving, you know what I'm saying, you know. But anyway, that ain't even important. Nevertheless, man, you know, um... So, Elder Possible Car, and like I said, you know, the brothers of GMS Dallas, they were just going in on the latest of IUIC with their false allegations, bringing, you know, um, bearing false witness against the brothers of Great Millstone, starting with the Elder Apostles to the Elder Bishops on down to us. When you say Great Millstone, you're talking about everybody, bro, all right? You know what I'm saying? You're speaking of all of us at the end of the day because we one body at the end of the day. So, you're speaking on one brother, you're speaking on everybody, man. At the end of the day, but never, but but nevertheless, like I said, I don't be watching these other Israelite camps like that, man. So how I find out my information when these dudes be bugging out, when they be bugging out, or when they adding and taking away from the scriptures, you know what I'm saying? I find out through the brothers, man. All right, because you have brothers that be watching these other camps, like like starting with El Pastor Hard, he be on everything, he don't miss anything, man. But if, if, nigga, if you miss one syllable, <laughs> you miss one syllable, you know what I'm saying? The one lyric in the song, all right, pertaining to the truth. Hey, man, he going to be on you at the end of the day. And righteously so. That's what we supposed to do. All right, you know. And like I said, man, you know, I was you know, watching it live. Which that was a heavy live. Those that ain't see it, I definitely recommend, you know what I'm saying, you know, you definitely uh, check that live that live feed out. Nevertheless, these dudes, the latest damn thing, these niggas bearing false witness against Great Millstone. They talking about Great Millstone. You know, they always wanted to attach and put that grapers on us. You know, it went from graping little girls to now, you know what I'm saying, we graping little boys now. You know what I'm saying, you know? And not only we graping little boys and what have you, what else they were saying? They were saying some other foul, foul shit as well, too. Oh, yeah, they was going they was going about calling different brothers' jobs a great millstone, bearing false witness, to try to, you know what I'm saying, they up there, they're just as wicked as their father Esau. Cause you know what I'm saying Esau the damn devil Fucking Satan himself 
Satan what he's he's a false accuser. And that's what these niggas are I U I C. That's what they are, false accusers, man. All right, you know, and I look at Nate Satan, Nate, Nate Satan at the end of the day. All right, because you're the you the leader, you the head guy uh, of I U I C. All right, you know, and you was like one of the main ones, you know what I'm saying, uh pushing that grapers on great millstone at the end of the day. Which that was bearing false witness Like I said when we go back in the history We was bringing it out of the scriptures Grape in the scriptures man Alright if a man You know see him a damsel and she's not Married or She's not betrothed you know what I'm saying She's not betrothed she's not promised to a man She's not married Then if you know he can't wait And he, you know he you know, he handled his business You know what I'm saying you know He's supposed to cause he humbled her He's supposed to go to the father all right, you know what I'm saying? Because that 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 that, that damsel, that young girl, you know what I'm saying? She belong, you know, she's a possession of a father. So he had to pay 50 uh sickles. He had to pay a dowry to to the father, man. Cuz that's the father's possession at the end of the day or whatnot, which is his daughter. Okay? You know? So we bring it out of the scriptures, man. You know what I'm saying? Of, of grape in the scriptures. These niggas got so fucking emotional. They want to apply grapes on us, man. They saying we out there graping. Which, which, which you bearing false witness. You have no fucking receipts, man. At the end of the goddamn day, all right. Of any brother doing a act, uh, a act like that, man. All right. Ain't nobody a great millstone then committed no act like that, man. Because if somebody a great millstone committed an act of great, guess what, man? Y'all, a vocab Malone, that you know what I'm saying would 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 have been unboarded out. A hey, news coverage would have been covering covering it because they love. Esau loved to, to make the Hebrew Israelites look bad. So you mean to tell me Esau didn't get his hands on that? A brother uh, of Great Millstone had, to, you know what I'm saying, as went to jail. He had to go to jail for those type of charges. You don't think Esau would make that public? All right, you know? And then, like I said, you niggas would have had receipts. If we would have did something like that, IUIC, y'all would have had actual receipts, man. You would have had brothers' mug shots. You know what I'm saying? You know? You would have had brothers' mug shots, man. Okay, at the end of the day. And which y'all don't, man. Because that never fucking happened, bro. All right, at the end of the day. And like I said, if a guy do commit that, he part of Great Mill, so he do commit an act of grape. Guess what? His ass up out of there, man. All right, you know? Because we don't condone the fucking grape at the end of the goddamn day. We was bringing it, like I said, we were going into history and bringing it out of the scriptures. Everything is not expediently, you know what I'm saying, according to the law. Yeah, that's in the law, but everything ain't expediently, bro. Because we still slaves, we still captives, man. All right, you know? Are we, we slaves by hard bondage on this side? No, we ain't slaves by hard bondage. We're slaves by contract now, man. All right, it went from hard bondage, because Yahweh Shema was shot, lighting our burden. It went from, you know what I'm saying, hardcore slavery, hardcore bondage, right? We working them damn cotton fields, tobacco fields, whatever. All right, being sold throughout the four corners, Yahweh Shema was shot, lighting the burden of our captivity and our slavery, because we coming to the end of it. And now we're slaves by contract. We're slaves by tribute because we have to pay fucking taxes and shit we have paperwork on us at the end of the day got a social security card got a birth certificate all right you know which all showing bills of receipt at the end of the day showing you we end up a property of fucking esau on this side right here man all right tell you how about your mouth shall redeem his very elect and i redeem you know what i'm saying i mean what well, he bought back his very elect all right and, and, and that buy back means redeem man all right you know so, nevertheless, and they're going to come back doing the deliverance, you know what I'm saying? You know, when Yahweh Shah delivered the, the elect from, from, from out of Babylon, man. All right, the elect throughout the four corners, okay? But mainly, all right, the bulk of the elect is going to be in Babylon. But, but but nevertheless, man, these niggas, I, you, I see, you're always pushing the law, the law, the law, the law. But then within the law, and I'm about to get it, I'm about, I'm about to get two scriptures, man. I'm about to get uh, Exodus. Let's get Exodus real quick. We're going to get Exodus 20 and 16. It says, it's read, Thou shall not bear false witness against thy neighbor, man. So you don't supposed to bear no false witness against your neighbor. And the word neighbor, go back to, the, I mean, really goes back to brother, man. All right? It is you're supposed to be in the faith. You say you're a servant of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shah. You don't supposed to bear a false witness against your neighbor. And I know you damn niggas of IUIC and, and you other, what well, we talking about IUIC right now. I said, I, I know a lot of you other camps, y'all get mad because y'all say Great Millstone be camp banging and whatnot, which we not camp banging, man. The scriptures told us, man, to mark them that cause division at the end of the day. Rebuke them sharply, man, all right? And you know what I'm saying? And when we when we 
we don't falsely accuse you guys. We have receipts. We got video footage of you guys going into the scriptures and breaking it down incorrect at the end of the day. And we go and we make lessons on it. We go out there and we rebuke you sharply in front of the congregation to let you know that you're going off according to the scriptures. You're adding or you're taking away from the scriptures, man. All right, which if you don't get the song correctly, you know, how about your mouth? I'm going to put your ass a fucking death. So in actuality, we showing an act of love. We, we, in actuality, we looking out for you, all right, for you to get get the song correct, get your act together, all right, make sure you singing the song 100% correct. Or you, how about your mouth? Shot gonna have your ass written out of the book of life, pursuing back to Revelation 22, 18 and 19. So we doing our job. We the vanguards, man, of this gospel at the end of the day or whatnot. You know, hell, we correct ourselves at the end of the day. If a brother misspeak, misspoke, all right, the slip of the tongue, a brother gonna go back. Make a video and make and make a correction, all right, to the error that he's spoken or he speak on, man. He's gonna correct his error at the end of the day. And what does that show? That show integrity at the end of the day. And a lot of you guys don't have no damn integrity, man. You know, you, even when you wrong, you're right in your fucking twisted ass fucking mind, man. But like I said, you guys, you love, you love to bear false witness, bro. You guys love to bear false witness at the end of the damn day, man. All right, but yeah, you claim you men of the Lord, man. A lot of you dudes got a lot of whole tendencies at the end of the day. You got whole tendencies, bro. You know, that's that, that, that what women do, man. You know, when a woman, when she's disgruntled, you know, when you don't cut her ass off or you don't cut, or if you were doing things for her, you don't cut resources off from her ass or whatnot, then guess what? Bitch start coming out making lies about you, all right? Start speaking things that's not necessarily true, all right? Or if it is true, she exaggerate the truth. She stretch out the truth. At the end of the damn day, all right? Because she in her fucking feelings, she's in her fucking emotions. And that's what you niggas be doing. You niggas done went and you done call brothers, you done call on brothers' jobs, man. All right? Lying on brothers, man. Trying to get brothers fired from your jobs. You know what I'm saying? You, you sitting up there, you, you find out brothers staying in a different apartment, a duplex, complex and stuff. You try to call brothers, you know, landlords and try to get them in trouble. So-called trying to get them in trouble, try to lie. Try to fuck up brother's lives at the end of the damn day. All right? Because you cause you take getting chastised, you take that personal at the end of the day. Just get the song correct, nigga. Because how about your mouth? I'm going to do way worse than your ass than we giving you warning. You know what I'm saying? And showing how you niggas going off in the scriptures. You know what I'm saying? And you take it personal and you start lying on brother, calling brother jobs and shit. Brothers had different businesses and try to fuck up brothers' businesses and stuff. You don't think, how about your mouth? I'm going to repay you niggas back for your wicked deeds that you done, that you done did. Huh? Wicked ass seeds that you done sow. You got you gonna reap what you sow at the end of the day. You reap wicked ass seed and you gonna you gonna you know you sow wicked ass seed and you gonna reap wicked ass seed at the end of the day. Not, 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 not no good gonna happen to you guys, bro. Unless you repent. Not, ain't nothing good gonna happen to you guys, man. Scripture tell you, offend not our little ones. And see, even in the world, man, before I came into this truth, you know what I'm saying, you had labels that somebody tried to put a label on you falsely. Man, those fighting words right there, man. Somebody call you a rat. You know, when you sitting up there, you a rat. The definition of a rat is somebody that's doing some criminal act with somebody. And they get caught up. And then they turn around and they start snitching on their friends and, and, and their partners. They they, 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 uh, what you call it? They comrades. They start snitching and ratting on their comrades to get a lighter sentence, man. All right? You know? Or, 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 don't, or, or try to not to receive any jail time by snitching on everybody, man. Telling everything that happened, you know what I'm saying. So you know you in the world, even so much in the truth too. You, you want no, you don't want to be labeled a uh, label a rat, or uh, label. First of all, you in the truth, you ain't doing no criminal shit, no damn way. So let me take that back. All right, like I said, and keep it like I said. You know what I'm saying, like I said before, like when you was in the world, you know you somebody put that label on you, a rat, or somebody put that label on you, a pedophile, messing with kids, man. That's shit that we look down on, man. All right, even more so in the truth. All right been a pedophile you know or uh, somebody call you a fucking mo man those fucking fighting words you know what i'm saying it, you you was in the world man all right those, those hats those labels you don't even want attached to you man all right you know you look down upon people that that does or commit those type of acts man that's lower to low at the end of the day to be a mo that's that's a lower to low being a rat that's lower to low man being a pedophile man that's lower to low right there man all right you get no lower than that man all right and and these labels these clown ass niggas, man. I U I C. All right, call this nigga ASAP Ferg and shit. ASAP <laughs> Ferg, whatever your nigga, whatever your name is, nigga. You know you going about lying on men, men of the Lord, bro. Bearing false witness. 
All right. Read it again. Exodus 20 and 16. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor, man. Like I said, that's what you clown ass niggas been doing. You, you don't think, you how about your mouth shot going to pay you clown ass niggas back, man? You got another damn thing coming. Hey, I'm going to read another scripture here. Matthew 12. I'm going to read verse 36 and 37. Matthew 12 and 36. But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. So, man, you ain't getting away with anything, man. You know, you bear, you know, no actions or your deeds that you're doing, whether it's good or whether it's bad. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's going to be bought before judgment, before you how about show me how we shot, man. All right. Let me um continue and read it, man. All right. And it goes right into what I just said. All right. It says, but I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment, man. So how much more when you lying and you bearing false witness, man, against men of the Lord, men that actually bleed, men that's actually on their watch. All right. Men that's putting their lives on the line for, for you. How about you, Rashad's sake, for truth's sake, for the gospel's sake at the end of the day. All right. You know, uh, uh, presenting our body as a living sacrifice. The true believers, man, the ones that's actually you know, diligently feeding the flock of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. All right, singing the song correctly, man. All right, truly got love, all right, for, for the elect, man, uh, of Israel. All right, and that's starting with the elders, apostles, great millstone, to the elder bishops, you know what I'm saying, on down to us, man. All right, we, we, we the true believers at the end of the day. All right, and we, and you know, like I say, man, we ain't butt hurt. You know what I'm saying? You know, we, you know, uh, do we get pissed off? Yeah, we get pissed off by, by being lied on. Nobody want. That type of label on them, man. All right. But we also understand through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh we knew that these things must come. These things must happen. All right. They, they bear false witness against Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah was falsely accused as well, too. So we are coming in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. We come in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Then guess what? We have to take on that cross. We have to take on that burden. We have to be lied upon, too. All right, you know, and guess what, man? We're going to keep it moving, man. We're going to keep on pushing the word, pushing the truth. We don't care if people believe you, you guys' false allegations. People believe that, that's on them at the end of the day. That's not going to stop us from doing the work of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. That's what a lot of you clowns don't fucking realize at the end of the day. And like I said, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, he sees everything. He hears everything that's, that, 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 that's happening, that, you know, that's going on. And you don't think he's going to repay you niggas, you know what I'm saying, for lying on brothers, man? All right? You know? But never, but 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 nevertheless, let me finish up verse 37. For by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned, man. All right? You know? So at the end of the day, you ain't getting away with anything, man. All right? All your words that you're using, that you're saying, you how about your mouth shot gonna hold you niggas accountable for, man, in that day and that time, man. All right, you know? And like I said, man, like scripture say, offend not my little ones, man. All right, you offend the little ones. You already know what time it is, man. It'd be better if a great millstone would tie around your neck, man. All right? But uh, that's the end of my listen right there, man. That's all I have. Because you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm, you know, remaining in the spirit. I really want to really want to say something, you stupid niggas. But nevertheless, bro. You know, so I'm going to let you how about your mouth shot handle you niggas, man, at the end of the day. We're going to continue on doing the work, continue on doing the truth. And you niggas continue on to go off. Guess what, man? Guess what, man? All right? You know what I'm saying? We're going to be on you, bro. Anybody for that matter. It ain't just you clowns. Anybody that's going off in the scriptures, man. All right? You know, you're going to get rebuked, man, at the end of the day. So so that's not going to stop us from doing the work. That's not going to stop us from rebuking you wicked-ass niggas, man. All right? You singing the song correctly? Hey, we're going to commend you. You know what I'm saying? But if you're going off in the scriptures, we're going to rebuke you niggas, man. So you can take it personal as you want. And it's not personal to us. It's just business as usual at the end of the day. We're doing the business of our father, man. We're doing the business of our big brother. All right? And their names are Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Not no fucking Christ, man. All right? Like you clowns be calling out. But nevertheless, man, that's the end of my listen. I pray and I hope that it was edifying to the body. Hopefully, with that, Shalom, Shalom.